Hi, it's Angie with News OK. Crystal Darkness is a documentary about meth, and it's airing all across Oklahoma on television stations January 13th at 6.30 p.m. About 200 watch parties are set up that evening. Well, we came here today to find out from an expert how meth really does affect the body. Methamphetamine has about a 12-hour course after you take it, and it can be eaten or snorted or smoked or injected. And if you eat it, it takes about 20 minutes to take effect. Um, snorting usually takes three or four, but smoking or injecting it usually has an immediate effect. The immediate effect, people you usually have a sense of euphoria, a sense of a rush. Um, people begin to feel that they are um, more alert, more fluid with their thoughts, um, more confident, um, able to take on tasks they usually are not able to take on. When people have that period of, of uh, euphoria and, and urgency to do something and to move around, a lot of times there's really no clear direction for that and that can turn into anxiety and agitation. Uh, people become very irritable, risk of violence due to irritability and loss of good judgment. Uh, gets gets very high. People do tend to do more risk-oriented things, driving for the adventure of driving, um, uh, engaging people in arguments for the adventure of arguing, and people often move into to violent uh, um, experiences. There are several things that happen uh, that are particularly disturbing. Um, blood pressure, pulse rate go up. There are impurities in the, these drugs that are made, who knows where, that also can damage blood vessels. People do go into a, a higher risk for, for stroke, for cardiac arrhythmias or heart attacks. Um, the longer somebody uses, the more often somebody uses, the greater the damage that's collected in the body, so the higher the risk to uh, the individual who's using. The brain shoots off um, Neurotransmitters ordinarily just make the brain work, and um, this is amplified by the use of meth. It, it actually causes some damage to brain cells uh, because of the intensity of the action. One thing that I think is very exciting about this particular movie is that, you know, th these films are made in different states, and they take people who are in recovery in each state. So it gives the person who's had a, a bad experience with a drug the opportunity to show other people who have problems that recovery is possible um, and that's that's very important and I think also in the telling of the story of recovery the individual who shares that enhances their own recovery improves their own health I'd say there definitely is hope uh, for people who use meth I think that sobriety um, uh, support uh, the development of insight all those things help a person to grow and even though people have had bad drug experiences, they certainly are capable of continued emotional growth and recovery.